you know, this is a pretty nice fan. I really shouldn't have picked on him for about buying it. Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder, remodeler in North Carolina. Are you the type of person that wants to know all things related to remodeling, such as what's the best tools out there, what's the best uh, materials, best methods? Well, hit that subscribe button, hit notification bell, and leave a comment. And also, follow us along as we're doing our own project. So in this video, I'm going to try to convert you to thinking that you need this. Alright, this is the DeWalt DCE 511. So when Harley first decided to purchase this, I thought, what a gimmick, what a waste of money, and I don't want this on our work vehicles. Well, either way, he wore me down, he purchased it, and he could have purchased it regardless of what I said, but, you know, whether or not I allow it onto the, the uh, work vehicles or trailers um, is another thing, you know, because uh, real estate is um, of high value in those uh, vehicles and we don't like to carry unnecessary tools but after having this around us for a few days I my mind totally changed as to how necessary this was the first thing I want to talk about was the shortcomings of other fans you have your traditional box fan and they're, they're big clunky they take up a lot of room uh, sometimes they're smooth sometimes they vibrate a lot um, and then there's always a cord associated with it. So that was one of the big benefits right off the bat with this being uh, cordless. The second thing that I noticed right off was how smooth this was. So whether it's on low or high, this has got to be one of the smoothest fans I've ever been around. I've never seen this move on high running at extended periods. It always stays in the same spot. It does not uh, vibrate at all. You don't have to worry about putting something underneath of it to uh, protect the surface. Now, it's advisable probably to put something small underneath of it uh, for that reason, but it's not a concern of mine as far as the shaking marring a finish. So let's go back to that fan speed. The fan speed is incredibly uh, low on, you know, at the very uh, first stage of it. So much so that, you know, whether you're sitting at an office desk or uh, you're camping and you bring one of these along as far as a tent, you could turn this down and it would be perfect in there. Just a real slow movement of air, nothing to, to disturb you and you wake up with, you know, a bad cold or something like that. So that that's really cool how low a speed it goes. Now you can definitely turn it up. Of course that's wide open and moves a fair amount of air. But you know all those things putting aside this still does not classify it as a tool. And for it to be on the van or the trailer it's gonna have to have a um, justification why I think it's a, a tool. Well, the more I was around it, I started seeing the benefits because I've never allowed fans except for, you know, on our larger um, jobs to where we can take a, a bigger fan that I don't worry about it damaging anything. This is the first fan that we've ever taken to remodeling jobs or that you can actually have in a kitchen job, uh, a bathroom remodel, you can have these. Going back to that tool, you know, how does this classify as a tool? You know, for your, your, towards the end of the job, when you're mud things up and you miss different things and they're lo at lower areas and you're trying to get uh, drywall to, to cure out, especially at lower levels, you can put that in such a manner, turn it up and get it to dry out. And you just walk away, go to work on other things, and this does its work. It gets that mud to cure out, you know, because it always dries much slower at floor level than anywhere else. Um, we've done this with painted areas, you know, to where we've touched up a couple areas where we knew we had to get a couple coats of paint on it. 
you know, put a, put a light first coat on it, throw the fan on it to where we can get right back on it quick with a second or third coat, whatever we needed to do. So it's starting to turn into a tool you'll see. I started seeing the benefits. Yeah, it's nice to have that uh, for you know putting on you to cool you down. But now I have a justification why it's on there. Um, so I've covered how smooth it is. It's it's the smoothest fan I've been around. And it's not that we just have uh, you know a, a one off here. We own two of them. So you'll see, this is actually the original here. This is a, a second one that uh, I actually purchased for the company. And you can see it's got a little two amp battery in it. Uh, these things don't take hard any uh, power to run. Uh, this one has a flex bolt in it. They perform the same with that. I don't think I need two up here. You can tell that we're impressed with it because we purchased two of them and I could see us possibly buying another one. They're, they're incredibly, um, uh, you know, well built. We just been, they impress us more and more and I can't believe right now that I'm doing a review on a fan, you know, because there's nothing cool about a fan. At least I don't think so. But this one actually is. This one impresses us more and more. Um, I want to go to the actual outside of it. So we have the, the rotation of the head. It will go down a pretty steep angle, straight up. These are all the different positive spots that it will lock. It has these hooks on the back that it appears though, I'm not sure exactly what they're for. That's the width of a two by four. It looks like you can hook it on a two by four. Um, I'm assuming you could put that on a ladder. It looks like it would look, lock into a ladder, the backside of a rung. But that's not something we've used. I'm assuming that's what it is. I see they got some bumpers here, uh, you know, rubber bumpers there. On the inside of the battery, take the battery out and you flip this down. You're going to see that you have a spot to plug up a cord in. If you did need to uh, run, a, um, run this for an extended length of time, or maybe you didn't bring a charger accidentally or something, or your battery, for whatever reason, you can plug it in there. Uh, I want to talk about the actual outside of the fan. They have taken every sharp edge off on this. I mean, it, they've done extremely well. I mean, there's just not one sharp edge on this thing. Okay, if there is one, it's right here. It's just this little area. I guess I could take a piece of sandpaper. That's actually the back side of the handle. But what, what impresses me so much about that is not only do I not have to worry about carrying the thing, I don't have to ha worry about it touching anything inside the house. You know, as far as uh, scratching anything, or let's say it does get rocked over and touch something, it's not a gouge or a, a, a big scratch. That matters to me as a remodeler. You know, I don't, we go into people's home to improve them, not to deprove them. <laughs> so, all right, so I think more and more I'm, I'm showing you the, um, how it's beneficial as a tool that we can speed our job up in different areas and uh, incre increase our productivity there. Now, remove, removing ourselves from the remodeling side and just the person wanting to know what they can use this for. This little guy has worked perfect um, underneath vehicles. Uh, we've taken it into crawl spaces. Um, we've uh, I've set it up into engine bays. Uh, you say, well, how would you know? How would you do that? You got the vehicle jacked up. I've been a couple times where I've had to work around an engine where it had a, a, a sharp, I mean, a hot exhaust pipe. Slid that up underneath it, turned it up on high. I had the pipe cool down in you know just a few minutes, as opposed to that exhaust uh, staying hot for a lot longer and it taking me quite a bit longer to be able to get get up under there and service the vehicle you know so the the uses of this continue to impress me more and more uh, example our work van we just had to replace the shackles on the back uh, leaf springs and I was like you know what we'll, we'll, we'll do it we'll knock it out here 
and we, we'd already uh, taken the one leaf spring out and boy it was at that time of the day the sun was starting to beat down catch us right on that side no breeze there and next thing I know I was like man that feels nice I was like wasn't sure where I was, that breeze was coming from well I turned around Harley had set one of these up on one end right behind me he had one on uh, hitting him and there's they're really small compact to where you don't have to worry about it getting in your road and stealing your work area and they're pretty pretty low I'm without measuring that I'm assuming good foot looks like it's somewhere around 16 inches I would say that's probably 16 inches top to bottom I suppose it looks like it's flat yeah I have never said it that way but I can guarantee you right there you could you could run it that way so you could decrease the height right there by set, setting it on its side I don't know how much more I can talk about the fan. It's um, uh, I'm glad Harley purchased this the first time because I mean, you can see we've already purchased another one. We'll probably purchase one more. Um, whether it's uh, remodeling, uh, camping, working on your vehicle, uh, setting on your table uh, to where you just need a little little breeze on you, I think this thing knocks it out of the park. All right.